Halo guys, welcome back with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Asian markets weaken as IMF World Bank flag recession risk. Hong Kong leaders Asian markets were weaker on Friday as investor brace for a United States rate hike next week made growing concerns of the global recession flowing warnings from the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. MS MSCI's borders in was down 0.3% on Friday after United States stocks and the previous session with mill losses on 4.1% so far this month. Australian shares were down 0.94% on Friday while Japan's Nikkei stock index slipped 1.2%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng's index was down 1.1% while China's CSI 300 index was 0.86% lower. The weaker session followed broad declines across the major United States equities market. The, jo the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.56%. The S&P 500 lost 44.66% or 1.13% to 3.0. 300, 361 and the Nasdaq Composite drop 1.43%. The global economic outlook remains down, downbeat and some countries are expected to slip into a recession in 20 and 23, but it's too early to say if there will be a widespread global recession, the IMF said on Thursday. The IMF in July revised down global growth to 3.2% in 2022 and 2.9% in 2023. It will rise in new outlook next week, next month. In comparison, the World Bank said the world could be edging towards a global recession in 2023 as central banks across the world simul simultaneously hike interest rates to combat persistent inflation, the world's three largest economies, the United States, China, and the Eurozone, have been slowing sharply, and even a moderate hit to the global economy over the next year could tip it into a recession, it said. In the Met deal, the World Bank's chief economist said on Thursday he was conscious about Gunnery's stagflation, a period of low growth and high inflation. In the global economy, noting the bank had paired back forecasts for a majority of countries. In Asia trade, the yield of benchmark 10 year treasury notes set, stood at 3.45%, its United States close of 3.45% on Thursday. The two year yield, which rises with traders' expectation of higher Fed found rate stoke. 3.87% compared with a United States close of 3.87%. Two year treasury yields hit a, fifth, a new 15 year height after mixed United States retail sales and jobless claims data, which analysts said raised force the case for aggressive Federal Reserve rate hikes. Markets are currently fully pricing. Uh, 75 basis points rate hike next week. Economics said, equities and other risk-sensitive markets struggle as it becomes clear that the United States inflation preserves are well embedded and that risks to the Fed funds rates lie to the upside, A and Z economists said on Friday. The dollar dropped 0.4% against to the yen to 143.7%. 95. The euro was up 0.1% on the day at 100, having lost 0.51% in a month. While the dollar index, which tracks the greenback gains is of major trading partners, was up at the United States, take up 0.14% to 85 to 0.22. A barrel brand could rose to 90.98 per dollar. Gold was slightly lower. Spot gold was traded at 
6.69 per ounce person. I think that's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.